one guitar player or pans with two guitar players? Is there one of those situations that's better? Maybe one of them's better for you. Um, if you've ever thought about that, if you're in one or the other and you're thinking about what the other type of situation is like for you, um, stay tuned. I've got a few decades of experience being with different bands. There's one that I prefer, but I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of both. And uh, then I'm gonna ask you later if you have any experience with that. So stay tuned. So if it's your first time here, I'm Nick, I'm a guitar player from Detroit. So you will definitely hear a lot about, uh, a lot about guitar tips, a lot about performances, some gear reviews, and some of the stuff that I have for the channel, for this guitar channel, which includes some of the camera gear and some new lighting equipment I got and some new um, lenses and other things like that. But mainly it's gonna be guitar-based stuff. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button because I'm trying to grow the channel. I love doing these videos for you and uh, the support definitely is appreciated. So if you could take a quick second and do me that quick favor, I'd definitely appreciate it. Anyways, let's get on to the discussion for today. This first of a three-part series about different situations with guitar players. Today we're gonna to discuss the pros and cons of both. The other videos will be about the details of being a one guitar player band and being in a two guitar player band. So a little bit about when I started playing. I started playing in the 1980s and heavy metal was really big and the guitar boot virtuosos. And even though I wasn't a fantastic player, I got pretty good pretty fast comparatively to the other guys um, because there was just so much guitar based music all over the radio. And I really liked, I really liked how that sounded. It made me want to be a better guitar player. And there's a lot of, not necessarily rivalry, but a lot of good and friendly Sometimes not so friendly competition back then. So when I was playing on my 25 watt PV backstage in, in a couple different bands, I was typically the only guitar player in those bands. And even in the three piece band, if I'm the only one carrying the chunk of the, the music and the chord progression, so to speak, I'm very comfortable with that. I like dynamics. I like the, the freeness of being able to do what I want to do. And that's like my comfort zone. I'm really, really, I really like that a lot. Um, I was in a band for the last couple of years that I was the second of the guitar, two guitar players. And I remember thinking I didn't really have really good experiences with that when I was younger. And I wasn't going to like it, but I'll put up with it for a while and see how it works. I'll have to say that that was a really good situation. It was much different. Uh, the other guy, he was a great guy, great guitar player. There were no problems. Who was playing what solo? We were very cool about that. I was perfectly fine with any kind of situations. I played a lot. He played a lot. And there, there's nothing bad to say about that. That was a really good situation, but that doesn't always happen. But in any case, here's some pros and cons of both situations. So the first one, being just one guitar player. Some pros of that. You have a lot more freedom to play. You have a lot more freedom of expression. You can do whatever you want. You can kind of overplay a little bit and you almost have to overplay sometimes, if you're, especially, if it's, especially if it's a three-piece band. You kind of have to overplay a little bit to kind of like fill out the sound so you can be a little more aggressive, a little more experimental in a lot of different ways. So that's a really good pro for that. Another one is if you really like playing and you're proud of your playing or you want to try a lot more things, your sound and you being the guitar player, you're much, much more prominent in the band. You might like one of the main one of the three main pieces of, of music. So that's really, so if you like that kind of thing, it's really, really cool. Some cons about being the only guitar player in a band? Well, you have a lot more responsibility because you're carrying so much of the music, so you need to be very, very tight with the rest of the band. You typically need to come up with the arrangements of music. If you're playing, um, whether you're playing like pop or cover songs or you're playing a wide range of things, since you're carrying a good chunk of the music, you have to be very creative on how you're going to do that. And for a lot of pop music, quite often you're, you're coming up with a couple different parts. Sometimes you have to cover two or three guitar parts. Sometimes you have to cover horn sections. Sometimes you have to cover keyboards. Sometimes you have to cover like a backup vocal line or something that somebody else can't sing or they're not gonna sing. So you have to do it with your guitar. So you have to cover a lot of different things. You have to get a lot of different tones and you have to always be on, you know what I mean? The whole show if you're the only guitar player. And because that, you also have to learn a lot more parts. You have to learn kind of all the parts. For instance, if you're covering two different guitar parts and maybe some keyboard line, you have to come up with a really good arrangement of how you're gonna get all these different sounds into one guitar and it might involve some different effects, it might involve different pickups, different settings, different amp settings, different um, different way that you play, different chord voicing. So you need to be very creative with that. So uh, like I said, with, with the responsibility of being the only guitar player, there are a lot of different um, things that you have to do, a lot of extra chores, a lot of different tasks, and a lot more homework. Also, if you're the only guitar player and you're doing solos, you need the other band, the, the, the bass player or the keyboard player or whoever else is gonna be there, to play very, very well and to be able to fill out the sound when your rhythm guitar drops out to do a solo. Um, because I've been in situations where that doesn't happen. The bass player might still be playing their very, very quiet, weak part and you're, you, you completely cut out all the hardcore rhythm and you're playing a solo and then it just sounds like everything dropped out and that's not good. So that's where you need to be creative. That's where you need to make sure that you work with the other people in the band to make sure they're filling it out a little bit more than they would normally play while you're doing the solo so it balances out. And so you need to be competent players, you need a lot of coordination for that, and you need to be able to fill them out. And that's, that's all things that come out in rehearsal, that's all things that come out in being part of a good band that's working together where you all know the strengths and weaknesses of each other's playing. 
Next part, two guitar player bands. Some pros for that. Well, you have a lot more room to breathe. You have two guitar players filling out the sound, so you have a lot more possibilities. You can harmonize guitar parts together. You can play off each other's riffs and things like that. You can trade back and forth. You don't have as many responsibilities, so it's a little more laid back to a point in a way, but it's in a, in a, in a very cool way. And I think I said this before about experimenting, but you can experiment more. I think it's, what I really think is you just can experiment in different ways. Since you do have a lot more breathing room, you can experiment in different ways as far as I don't have to carry the whole song with this uh, with all these different parts to it. I can let him play the mainly guitar part and I can just experiment with filling out a couple different notes there, building it up and you can you can work with dynamics a lot, but you can do some really, really cool stuff if you have the two guitar players that work together and you know what you're doing. But it does take a lot of work to get there on both of your parts. And something that I just mentioned in the con of being only one guitar player is you now have another guitar player to fill out the sound a lot more when you drop out to do a solo or you can fill it out when he drops out or she drops out to do a solo. So you have a lot more coverage in the guitar and things. Some cons about being in two guitar player bands, you have to do a lot more coordination with each other. There's There can be a lot of compromise. Sometimes if you're, the, if you're like me and you're the only one who's used to playing all the guitar parts, it can feel very, very limited. You might not like it at first. It'll definitely make you a better guitar player. You'll be more subtle. You learn how to finesse things more. And sometimes it's what you don't play rather than what you play. Quite often, if I'm doing more of the lead parts um, and the other guitar players doing more of the rhythm -ish parts, I won't even play for the first verse. I might just do like a little like a chicka chicka, like chick, 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 kind of quiet to fill it out, maybe towards the, the second part of the first verse. And then I'll come in a little bit of the chorus and the second verse, I'm a little bit louder than the solo. And then the last part of it's like really, really loud, depending on the song format. But there's a lot of times when you have two guitar players where you're not always playing the same time. And quite often you're not playing the same time and you very, very rarely, and I'll talk about this in one of the next videos, you rarely don't want to play, be playing the exact same thing as the other guitar player because that gets sloppy and ugly and grotesque really, really quick. Another con about it to some people is that you're not as prominent in the band because there's two guitar players so there's kind of like both of you doing things together. So if you like having the spotlight a little bit more, if you like, if you're very, very comfortable, you're kind of like a type A personality, and you like having your stuff, your guitar stuff out open and having people hear it, that's not gonna happen as much with two guitar players in a band. So some of my thoughts on it, in any case, I think if you have the chance, definitely experience both. You'll find one that you like better than the other, and you'll learn a lot from both. Whether you like one better or the other better, being in the, you know, getting out of your comfort zone is always good. And you can always learn something from other guitar players, no matter how much better or how much they are than you, how much better you are than them. Everybody can always learn something off each other. I definitely think that being the only guitar player puts a little more pressure on you, but it can be good. If you're a little more of an aggressive, confident player and you like to push yourself out of the comfort zone and experiment more, I think you'll really, really enjoy being the only guitar player in the band. If you're somebody who's a little more laid back, at least for now, or you like to maybe do a little more collaboration or you don't like being in the spotlight, I think being part of a two guitar player, being one of the two guitar players in a two guitar player band, being one guitar player in two, well, however that's worded, being one of the two can definitely be a good situation for you and you might gravitate towards that a little bit more. But in any case, I think you'd definitely try both. So, so what are your thoughts? If you're in a band, um, or if you've been in a band before, what are your thoughts about being the only guitar player versus being two guitar players? What are some pros and cons that you found? What are some situations, whether they're great stories, maybe war stories, maybe terrible, tragic stories of things that went horribly wrong or maybe things that went really well. I'd love, love to hear from you. I'd love, love to talk shop about guitars. So definitely let me know um, Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you thought about this. I, like I said, I have two more videos coming up in the series about some tips on when you're the single guitar player as opposed to when you're a guitar player and a two guitar player band, how to coordinate things a little bit more and how to how to set up your schedules so you know for the for the songs and how to work things out a little better again thanks for tuning in i really, really appreciate the support hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber i got a lot of stuff coming up including vlogmas in a couple weeks where i'm going to be vlogging every single day i did it last year it was a little bit tough it was challenging but it was a lot of fun i'm going to do it again this year i'm going to be vlogging every day from december 1st to december 24th i'm going to have a lot of guitar stuff maybe on the weekends i will have some more camera gear like a lot of gear reviews anyways i'd love to hear your comments um, thank you so much for the support. I'll talk to you guys soon, and until I see you in the next video, rock on.